It's vacation season, and I have a feeling that many of you are planning to get away. What are your summer plans? Are you going somewhere? Are you bringing your camera? This is the time of year when I start getting questions about packing camera gear for vacations. Do I go all out? Do I only bring one camera and lens? Or maybe just a point and shoot? I know, it can be stressful. <laughs> Let's talk about it. My advice here is to keep your goal in mind. Are you focusing on the experience of the vacation or are you focusing on the photography? I realize there are shades of gray in between those two, but what is your main focus? Here's what I mean. Last summer, I went to Yellowstone and Grand Teton National Parks as a part of a larger multi-state trip. It was my first time there. I knew I'd be exploring and driving around. Of course, I'm a photography fiend, so I was certainly going to bring a couple of options, but I wanted to be footloose and fancy free. The trip wasn't so much about photography as it was about having a good time and laying the groundwork for a larger trip where I did focus on photography. But for this trip, I truly didn't want to think about gear. Also, I knew that my gear would spend a ton of time in the hotel safe, and I really didn't want to lug my stuff around or either wedge it into that hotel safe or take the risk of hiding it somewhere in the room. So I packed light. I went with a good DSLR and a couple of lightweight kit lenses. That way I could have flexibility and also keep it lightweight and simple. And guess what? I have several photos from that trip framed in my home. They're great. The kit lenses did just fine. And you can see exactly what I brought and what Raymond brought in my series of videos at the link above. This summer though, I'm going back to Yellowstone for that big photography adventure. And I'm going big with my gear packing too, but honestly still somewhat minimal because that's just how I roll. Anyway, this will be a bit of a departure from how I normally pack. This trip is all about the adventure and really capturing it with my camera with the intention of creating a book of my photography for Patreon patrons who have invested in this trip. So I'll be bringing my best DSLRs and my best, most flexible glass. It means more weight on my pack on long hikes. I even got a new bag to fit everything for this trip and more financial risk in my travels if I ever want to leave any of it behind in the hotel room. But that's what I want to do for this trip. And I will share more about this trip, the gear and such, once it actually happens. Now, what about those in-between times? Often, I want to do a little of both. Focus on having a good time without being concerned about gear, but still, I want to get great results. My little mirrorless Nikon One collection is great for that. Or I love having a DSLR and a prime lens or two. The thing is, don't stress too much. If you want to bring all of your gear, bring all of your gear. If you really don't, and you want to bring a kit lens like I did last year, that's okay too. As silly as it sounds, the main thing is to enjoy yourself. Make your gear choice, and then don't give it a second thought. Go with it and have a good time. I'll be sharing lots of photos from my travels this summer. I'll share them in videos here on YouTube, but also on social media, so make sure you subscribe and follow me so you can see everything. But I'd love to hear about your summer plans. Where are you going? What are you bringing? Let me know in the comments below.